You are now looking at the world's most powerful flying wind turbine, launched in western China. This enormous airship-like machine, roughly the size of a basketball court and as tall as a 13-story building, has just made history. Suspended high above the Gobi Desert in Xinjiang, it became the first turbine of its kind to generate 1.5 megawatts of electricity during a test flight. That is enough to power nearly 1,500 homes at once. And here's the part that has energy scientists stunned. This airborne giant is expected to generate far more power than ground-based wind turbines because high-altitude winds are stronger, faster, and more stable than anything near the surface. For decades, researchers have dreamed of tapping into this immense skyborne resource. Most called it impossible. Yet now, China's S-1500 has turned that dream into reality. For the first time, the sky itself has become a reliable, mobile power plant. And the machine leading this revolution has a name, the S-1500. But it also raises big questions. Could this flying turbine really replace traditional ground-based wind farms? Will its costs be lower, or could the advanced technology make it more expensive? And perhaps most importantly, how safe is it to operate a massive power plant floating in the sky? When you think of wind turbines, you probably imagine rows of tall white towers dotting hillsides or standing offshore in the ocean. These towers can be over 100 meters tall, their blades sweeping across an area larger than a football field. They're engineering marvels, but they come with limitations. At ground level, wind speeds rise and fall with the weather, the terrain, and even the time of day. Engineers know a simple truth. Power is proportional to the cube of wind speed. That means if wind speed doubles, energy output increases by a factor of eight. But at 10 or 20 meters above the ground, winds are weak and unreliable. Even at the tip of a turbine blade 100 meters up, the wind is still just a fraction of what blows higher in the atmosphere. Several kilometers above, winds are two to three times faster and dramatically more stable. This is the jet stream, a river of energy constantly flowing above us. For decades, scientists have looked up at those winds and asked what would happen if we could capture that power. The energy potential is staggering, enough to supply humanity's needs many times over. But building towers tall enough to reach those winds is impossible. That's where airborne wind power comes in. China's S-1500 is the world's first megawatt-class airborne wind turbine system. Developed by Beijing Linyi Yunchuan Energy Technology, it represents a leap forward in renewable energy design. The machine itself looks like something out of science fiction. Measuring 60 meters long, 40 meters wide, and 40 meters high, it resembles a hybrid of a Zeppelin and a futuristic aircraft. At its heart is a massive airbag and ring-wing structure, creating a giant duct. Inside this duct sit 12 turbine generator sets, each rated at about 100 kilowatts. Together, they deliver one and a half megawatts of power, making this not just an experiment, but a serious power plant in the sky. The S-1500 floats using lighter-than-air gas tethered to the ground by strong mooring cables. But those cables aren't just ropes, they're lifelines. They hold the turbine in place and transmit the generated electricity down to Earth. This combination of flight and tether transforms the S-1500 into a floating energy station, anchored but airborne, mobile yet stable. Its maiden test flight took place in September 2025 at the Naomao Lake Base in Hami, Xinjiang, a region known for its harsh deserts and punishing winds. From September 19th to 21st, the S-1500 endured everything engineers could throw at it. Assembly under Gobi conditions, pressure maintenance, day and night strong wind release, and retraction tests. Against all odds, it succeeded. Energy scientists around the world were stunned. A concept long stuck in the realm of theory had finally left the drawing board. So, how does it work? At its core, the S-1500 is an airborne wind energy system. The idea is simple. Float a wind turbine into higher, more powerful winds and harvest the energy. 
But making that idea real is anything but simple. The airship itself acts as the support structure holding the turbines aloft. Inside the ducted body, wind rushes through at high speed, spinning multiple turbine rotors. These rotors drive lightweight generators, producing electricity on board. The power is then fed into a high-voltage transmission line woven into the mooring cable. This cable carries the current safely down to the ground, where it's converted and fed into the local grid or stored in batteries. Why go airborne? Because at 500 to 1,000 meters above ground, winds are much faster and far more stable than on the surface. On average, the energy density is two to three times higher. And because power increases with the cube of velocity, even small increases in wind speed translate into enormous increases in energy production. That means an airborne turbine like the S1500 can potentially outperform ground-based turbines of much larger size while using significantly less material and cutting electricity costs by up to 30% per kilowatt hour. It is the product of years of incremental progress. Back in October 2024, the team launched the Sowies 500, a prototype that reached 500 meters and generated 50 kilowatts. Just three months later, in January 2025, the Sowies 1000 climbed to 1000 meters, producing 100 kilowatts. Each test brought new lessons in aerostat stability, generator design, and long distance power transmission. The leap to the S1500 was bold. Scaling from 100 kilowatts to one and a half megawatts meant tackling huge engineering challenges. The team had to ensure the airship remained stable in fierce winds. They had to design lightweight but powerful generators. They had to manage kilometer scale power cables without excessive losses. And they had to create a retractable system that could withstand storms and operate day and night. The breakthrough came from collaboration. Partner institutions like Tsinghua University and the Institute of Space Science and Technology brought expertise in aerodynamics, material science, and aerospace engineering. Together, they overcame hurdles that once seemed insurmountable. Now, you may ask why it matters. Traditional wind farms require massive towers, deep foundations, and heavy construction equipment. Once built, they are locked in place. The S1500 breaks those constraints. Its airborne design means it can be relocated quickly, whether for seasonal winds, disaster response, or new projects. It can operate in deserts, on islands, in mining areas, or in regions too remote for traditional infrastructure. By eliminating tall towers and heavy foundations, material use drops dramatically and costs fall with it. And with access to high altitude winds, power generation becomes steadier and more predictable. Imagine a post-disaster scenario where an earthquake knocks out local power. Within hours, an S1500 could be deployed, floating above the rubble and supplying emergency electricity to hospitals, shelters, and communication systems. Or picture remote islands long dependent on expensive diesel shipments suddenly powered by clean, steady, airborne wind. The Naomayo Lake Base in Xinjiang was chosen for a reason. The Gobi Desert is brutal. Winds are unpredictable. Temperatures swing from scorching by day to freezing by night, and sandstorms can whip up without warning. If the S1500 could survive here, it could survive anywhere. During its September 2025 test flight, the system endured high winds, pressure changes, and round-the-clock operation. Engineers tested its ability to launch, retract, and remain stable in both day and night conditions. Every system performed as designed. When the test concluded, CEO and chief designer Dun Tian Rui called it a milestone in engineering application. But beyond the technical achievement, there was symbolism. China had officially tapped the skies for electricity. Later, news of the S1500 spread quickly, leaving energy scientists and policymakers around the globe stunned. For years, airborne wind had been dismissed as impractical, too unstable, too risky, too difficult to transmit power back to Earth. But now, with a megawatt-class system flying in the deserts of China, 
those doubts are fading. Compared to traditional offshore wind farms, which take years and billions to construct, airborne turbines promise faster deployment and lower costs. If mass-produced, systems like the S1500 could fundamentally reshape global renewable energy markets. For China, this is also about leadership. Of course, challenges remain. The most pressing is weather resilience. Can the S1500 survive hurricanes, huge typhoons, or lightning storms? Durability is another question. How long will the materials last under UV exposure and extreme winds? Regulation is also uncharted territory. Airspace safety rules will need to adapt to floating power plants. And finally, Scaling up presents its own hurdles. Can the system be mass-produced economically, and will grids adapt to integrate mobile, airborne power? The answers aren't clear yet, but each successful test flight brings the world closer to solving them. Looking forward, Beijing Linya Yunchuan Energy Technology plans multi-environment testing across China in wide deserts, coastal zones, and isolated islands. The goal is commercial rollout by 2026, with the first users connected to the grid. If achieved, airborne turbines could complement ground-based wind and solar, filling in gaps when weather patterns shift. They could provide emergency relief after natural disasters, and they could extend clean power to the most remote regions of Earth. Beyond China, the implications are global. The sky holds an almost limitless reservoir of energy. The S1500 is humanity's first serious attempt to harvest it at scale. The S1500 airborne wind turbine is more than a flying machine. It is a symbol of what happens when imagination meets engineering discipline. A system once thought impossible now floats above the Gobi Desert, turning invisible streams of air into megawatts of electricity. It raises questions that scientists and citizens alike must now consider. If the sky itself can power our homes, how will that reshape the future of energy? Could floating turbines replace sprawling ground wind farms? What happens when every desert, island, or mountain valley can host its own airborne power station? The S1500 is not the end of the story. It is the beginning of a new chapter, where humanity looks upward and finds the power of tomorrow waiting in the winds above. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world's most powerful flying wind turbine, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with others passionate about the future of clean energy. The sky is no longer the limit. It's the power plant of the future.